An integrated amplifier features an audio preamplifier and a power amplifier in the same unit. The design also allows you to adjust many features in your sound system, including the volume, loudness, treble, and input format. Such an amplifier can be suitable for many audio playback items, whether it entails a turntable or a CD player. The integrated amp is ideal for when you're looking to produce the best possible sound while using a simplified approach to playing back music. So in this video, we're going to show you 7 best integrated amplifiers that are worth buying in 2021. The fifth amplifier is very amazing and you definitely want to stick around to find out what it is. So make sure to stick around till the end, you'll definitely find something interesting here. All the links to the products are given in the description box. The Audiolab 6000A Integrated Amplifier is a brilliant 50-watt AB-class amplifier for the modern music lover offering a nearly unbeatable feature set including connectivity for digital and analog sources, wireless connectivity for portable devices, a phono stage to cater for vinyl playback, and a dedicated headphone amplifier. The Audiolab 6000 series looks to combine class-leading performance, modern features, and a premium build quality at a very affordable price point. The build quality and layout of the Audiolab 6000A has also been very well considered with the output stage, toroidal transformers, and preamp section all configured to be as thermally efficient and acoustically inert as possible, allowing for excellent dynamics and control without noise interference. Further to all of this, you have the option of three digital filters to choose from offering even more versatility to your digital sources. There are four digital inputs available in the 6000A, all capable of playing 24-bit, 192kHz high-res audio files. Rigorous tying, testing, and refinement has gone into the 6000A's digital circuitry, utilizing technology from their high-end 8300A series, as well as the ES9018 Sabri32 DAC chip from the award-winning Audiolab MDAC. Sonos Amp is a Class D with a power output of 125 watt, 8 ohms per channel. The Sonos Amp powers a variety of speakers effortlessly with a 125 watt, 8 ohms output. The Amp maintains amazingly pure sound even with outdoor speakers. The direct digital input results in crisp, undistorted sound as the system needs no analog to digital conversion. And the design fits a 4.1 home theater system with four side speakers and a subwoofer output. All the connection ports sit on the rear panel, a subwoofer output, two Ethernet sockets, two pairs of speaker terminals, an HDMI socket, and analog stereo input. The amp connects to wireless Sonos speakers through a hub, wired speakers through cables, and can do it simultaneously. The amp connects wirelessly through Wi-Fi. Also, the amp is compatible with AirPlay 2 and Alexa, further expanding your control over it. Sonos Amp supports over 100 streaming services, offering a great selection for you to enjoy the ones you prefer. Flexible control enhancement is by the new APIs and partner integrations that synchronize the Amp with smart home control and other smart devices like phones to allow for keypad and voice control. The front panel features touch buttons for volume and play control. The physical design allows for easy stacking in a hi-fi rack system, but you may need external cooling as the densely packed inside has less space for air circulation. The amp is only available in black color. If you know your way around a hi-fi system, then the Parasound New Classic 200 Integrated will be a hugely rewarding choice. It packs a stunning range of features into its slim frame, bypass input for surround sound, a crossover for bass management, and an excellent phono stage. We must mention that it's not suited for beginners, both in terms of price and in terms of functionality. To get the best out of it, you need a certain level of knowledge to utilize the features making it a daunting option for most people. It's a dream to use, and the audio it produces, while a tad analytical, still feels elegant and assured. We think it's a better option than something like the Shiat Ragnarok, which is a little more expensive and offers slightly fewer features. The AXA35 boasts a toroidal transformer and offers extra versatility through its integrated moving magnet phono stage input for vinyl enthusiasts. The sound without any EQ applied is meaty and carries plenty of bass even with the volume turned up, the AXA35 never loses control of the music as some other budget amplifiers can. Thanks to that impressive toroidal transformer, the AXA35 delivers a big forward sound that really does tease out nuances from the music, the sound is superb. 
There's a level of control that the amplifier exerted over the music, it's a reference level piece of hi-fi that shines with every loudspeaker you can throw it. It does not include an internal DAC or streaming capabilities, but serves as a very confident and robust sounding amplifier that works well with the AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt DAC and your smartphone or laptop. At the opposite end of the price, Spectrum sits the entry-level AXA35 that delivers more than enough power to drive pricier bookshelf loudspeakers in a very satisfying manner. Built by the MM Phono stage that shines with cartridges from Grado Labs, Ortofon and Audio-Technica. Although they're best known for their headphone amps and DACs, China's SMSL has produced a killer little speaker amp as well. The AD18 may be less than 10 inches long, but it manages to output a genuinely surprising amount of power, delivering more than enough juice for even the most demanding speakers. The most glaring downside with the SMSL AD18 is that for all its charms, it's still a budget amplifier. That means that the sound will be ruthlessly exposed by high-end speakers. You're better off investing in a slightly pricier amplifier like the Cambridge Audio CX A61 if you want to go in that direction. That said, there's a lot here including Bluetooth compatibility, a solid DAC, and a handy screen. It also helps the AD18 look fabulous. The Marantz PM8006 is the top series integrated amplifier from Marantz offering up some class-leading technologies to deliver a powerfully dynamic detailed and accurate sound. Marantz has always been known for its high-quality phono stages, but the musical phono EQ takes it to the next level. This technology allows for two-stage amplification, lowering distortion and simplifying the signal path to give the best playback possible for your turntable. The PM8006 is a real throwback to the vintage hi-fi systems of old, a big box with rounded corners, well-defined edges, and the classic black-silver color options all scream quality hi-fi. The PM8006 shows a real commitment to the Vinal revival with Marantz debuting their unique musical phono EQ stage. Continuing on with Marantz only technology, the PM8006 performs beautifully with the use of the most advanced hyperdynamic amplifier module, HDAM, yet the SA3's constructed in-house, the HDAM SA3 modules, step it up from the more traditional chip-based amps and use discrete surface mount components with short mirror image left and right signal paths. NAD D3045 is a Class D 60 watt per channel amplifier which delivers more power and connections than any other amps in the D series. There's an added small screen display with an extra source selection dial. Whether you position the amp vertically or horizontally, the auto position sensor rotates the display to the proper orientation. The D3045 is MQA compatible, producing awesome high resolution performance in Tidal Master streams. The hybrid digital amplifier drives 60 watt to each channel, bringing it to life even the most stubborn speakers. The sound, though, lacks the warmth found in Class A and AB amps. The DAC supports audio files up to 24-bit, 192 kHz, and the signature precision clock timer reduces jitters to let you enjoy MP3, FLAC, and WAV files smoothly. The book-like curved edged chassis design looks neat with a mini jack port, a volume knob, and an input selector knob. However, the hard plastic finish gives the chassis a cheaper feel. Furthermore, the connection options includes the two optical and one coaxial digital inputs, a USB in port, several analog inputs, a phono input on the rear, an HDMI input, a subwoofer output, and a two-way 24-bit high-resolution Bluetooth aptX receiver. The bi-directional Bluetooth receiver allows you to send or receive signals to and from the amp. At the same time, the hybrid digital tech lowers the distortion to output lifelike clear and precise sound. Which one do you prefer? Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon for more updates and notifications. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.